So today we're gonna be looking at a Dokkan Fest. What's his name? Base Cross Mega Man. I think it's Base Cross Mega Man. Yeah, and it's coming in from Selfish Stoic. But before I go ahead and read Selfish Stoic's <laughs> message inside the email, send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com to get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. So let's go ahead and read the message inside of his email. I had to put it up on a separate text document because I, you know, because it was two emails, like, um, just like when he replied to his own email or just sent me another one within the same document or not document or within the same email, uh, I couldn't cover, like when I went to cover the top of his email, I couldn't see the entire message. So I had to copy and paste it on a notepad if you guys don't mind. So with that being said, and of course, we're doing the little fixed one because, of course, he puts stats on the updated one. So, uh, Stoic says, hey, Dev, hope you're doing well. Sorry if my alt Gmail name sounds weird, though. It's not weird at all, my brother. Uh, I subscribed to your channel recently because of the cool reviews you made on other people's custom cards in Dokkan Battle, W. So I wanted to submit a custom card of my own as a Mega Man Battle Network celebration. I really love both Mega Man and Dragon Ball, W. I, I like Mega Man. I like Mega Man, but I, you know what's crazy? I have Mega Man Battle Network, the collection, downloaded on my computer. I, I love that game. That, that game is just... That brings back a lot of memories. I love that game. So this is going to be pretty cool to see this card. Uh, and he says, I hope you like my card and what it brings to the table. And once again, I hope you have a great day ahead. Ooh, shout out to you, Stoic, man. W, man. W. Glad, glad that you enjoyed the uh, cool reviews. Uh, and inside the other email it says, hi again, just realized I forgot to add stats is all. Here's the updated card. And let me tell you guys something. You guys love defense. Okay, so of course, Dokkan Fest. Dokkan Fest. Dokkan Battle X Mega Man Battle Negro. I love this game, by the way. Uh, and of course, the Dokkan Fest. Uh, program of Light and Darkness. I think it's base. I think that's how you say it. It's not bass. There's no way. Ba uh, base cross Mega Man Gold. Uh, okay, so and of course he's a uh, super physical. He's LR, uh, and it says this card has all versions of uh, base cross Mega Man. So despite his animations coming from the movie, he still has his game counterparts, which is the okay. I covered that, which is the reasons <laughs> he has categories like siblings bond and bond to parent and child, despite having no family relations in the anime. So Cyber World's Last Hope SSR art, dope, uh, Deviant art. A copy from Google, not visiting the site. And of course, this is the T U R art, and this is the L R art. Dope. You know what's crazy? This is the this is the thumbnail for the video. Like I copied this exact picture, and this is the thumbnail for the video. Uh, and yeah, this this is a fire ass SSR. Let me just say that outright. Uh, cool T U R to the L R art, and then of course the L R art. That's that's cool. That, that's the reason why I put it inside the thumbnail. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Let me just go ahead and just close that down. All right. So I'm covering it. So let me just move myself over. I froze for a bit, but the recording should be fine. Let me make sure it's not covering nothing. It's not. That's perfect. Perfect. All right. So, uh, leader skill is legendary existence, connected hope, or siblings bond. Three key and one 70% across the board. Me, 30% of the stats is two entrusted will or final trump card. And he, of course, has the additional third part of his leader skill to super class giving three key and one 50% of the stats. So you could go ahead and run Bulma on here if you wanted to. <laughs> excluding legendary existence, uh, connected hope, and siblings bond characters, of course, excluded. And uh, I did pull up the 200% leader skill. Um, w, W, uh, W grants it in the right condition. W, uh, W, let's see, in the right condition, but you know, you could get clapped in some, some way, shape or form. W, hell no, no, uh, you could make something happen with them. I feel like people are way too hard on them. You can make something shake with them for sure. Their standby can still be used. Um, W, I'm granted in the right scenario. Uh, no, no. Oh my God. Them being on the team is just crazy. And UI, Spear Bomb Zorb Goku. Granted, you do have the uh, trio, the Z Broly trio, or the Faith tri trio, as I've heard. <laughs> you could make something work with that. Um, Bardock, hell no. The uh, third year anniversary LR, hell no. Um, Thousand Day Goku, no. Majin Vegeta, hell no. Um, T Wars to LR is obviously not going to happen. Um, this Gotenks, sure, granted in the condition. Um, Super Trunks, I don't care how much you like Super Trunks, hell no. Um, Tech Bardock, no. Uh, Maja Vegeta, um, is there trunks around here somewhere? I mean, trunks isn't the name of this card, right? 
isn't he? So could you mix up the work of my Vegeta? Too funky. I mean, you could go ahead and get this uh, this Gohan right over here to work with some of these Buu characters like Tech Ultimate Gohan, like this in Majin Vegeta. But granted, in the situation, oh, as well as uh, in Gotenks, um, granted, you do have to run Buu Saga characters over like Beast Gohan or Tech UI. You're not doing that. This guy could work granted in the right conditions, but you're still not going to do that. Um, But yeah, I think that's about it for this category. This category is all right. It's all right. There are some dead options, but um, most of the top heavy cards in this uh, category are going to carry it. And of course, we have the super easy, a dominant Gotenks. So we did not forget how dominant this guy was, right? I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. He is good. We know that. He is a great ass card. Okay. Um, categories, all right. Um, stats, and like I said, you guys either put a high ass defensive stat or you put a uh, crazy amount of like... Uh, high stats all together like high hp high attack or high defense um high defensive status this, this is brazy bro look at that that is just off the wall just high just defense so this card is going to be a defensive wall makes sense considering the fact that today's meta is defense oriented so i can't really hate on it right and his super attack and his 12 key, that being Hell's Rolling, he greatly stacks attack and stacks defense. And his 18 key, that being Shooting Buster, he massively stacks attack, greatly stacks defense, and greatly lowers enemy defense. And it's an AoE. Cool. So he's a stacker. So you guys know where this is going with a crazy high defensive stat of almost 19,000. Uh, let's see what he's looking like in his passive. So his passive, uh, uh, irrepressible combination, activates interest animation once only, and he gets 10 key and a 50% chance to crit, as well as 50% damage reduction for 7 turns. So a 50% chance to crit with 50% damage reduction for 7 turns, great. 12 key, 500% attack and defense, and unrestricted guard. Obviously amazing. He has unrestricted 50% damage reduction, so this guy's taking 0 damage at the start of turn. For 7 turns. Guard with basically 100% damage reduction. Okay, and disables enemy uh, ability to seal this character super attacks. Okay, just a little cool little nifty ability to have. And a 20% chance to steal a random buff from a targeted enemy after landing a super attack. What? Okay, never seen that before. Uh, Feather against all types for free. Normal attacks will target all enemies. Okay, so it's like an AoE normal like the bosses have. And additional 150% attack and defense when attacking, and two keeper keys are obtained. Uh, a rainbow orb changer to, to accept physical excluded. 70% uh, chance to crit, concerning the fact that he already has a 50% chance to crit in his interest animation buff, just bananas. Uh, as well as a plus additional 10% chance to crit with each attack performed. Okay. And launches a guaranteed super per rainbow key sphere obtained, up to two attacks per turn. So two, just two free guaranteed supers. And a 70% chance to nullify unarmed super attacks right there, this character. So, uh, chance to nullify in his kit, a 70% chance being pretty damn high, obviously. Um, two guaranteed supers, granted you get those two rainbow orbs, and he is a rainbow orb changing. Not to mention, he's rainbow orb changing. He has basically a guaranteed crit built into him, because he gets an additional 50% chance to crit within the first seven turns. Um, he also, two keeper keys to obtain, attack and defensive buff in his pass to a super attack effect, effect against all types. Uh, he has like cool little abilities where he's able to steal a random buff from a target enemy after landing a super attack, but it's a small, small chance being a 20% chance. Uh, he has basically 100% damage reduction and guard within those first seven turns of him having that 50% damage reduction for seven turns, 500% attack and defense and guard, not to mention in 12 key. Come on now, guys, you guys can put the puzzle pieces together on why he is so damn buffed. You guys get it. And active skill, uh, vanishing, and then obviously I, for I forgot to mention that this guy is also just greatly stacking attack and stacking defense on his 12 key, and then he's massively stacking attack and greatly stacking defense on his 18 key. So come on, <sighs> man, that's a lot of reading. Anyways, uh, active skill, vanishing world Kai temporarily massively, of course it's 100% attack. Uh, he temporarily gets 100% attack and causes ultimate damage to enemy. Gets 24 key cancels. He cancels any enemy buffs. Uh, effect that allows them to disable defense reduction okay so you can't lower this guy's defense okay uh with 24 key and mass raising attack and so you use this active skill and you kill the enemy you could just save this active skill if you wanted to you don't even have to transform you don't you just don't you don't this base is ridiculously strong it's like super uber strong okay so, uh, let's see. Condition can be activated starting from the third turn from the start of battle. So, easy as active skill activation condition. And then, uh, form, change, skill, swipe down. Silver-based cross Mega Man. So, he goes into the silver version from gold. Okay. 
disables enemy ability to lock character switching against this character. That's W, honestly. Cancels own debuffs, strong. Recovers 20% HP. And activation condition can be activated and start from the character's turn after entry turn. Okay. Um. So, the leader skill does stay the exact same? It does. It does stay the same. Okay. Um, and his new super attack effects for his 12 key, he gets 50% attack for one turn and 30% defense for one turn. Cool. And uh, his 18 key, that being Shooting Buster, he uh, gets 50% uh, attack and defense for one turn and greatly lowers defense. Okay, so see what this guy's doing inside the silver version. Okay, so I like to assume that the silver version is probably... Uh, you know what? Let's not, let's not assume. All right, so it's passive. Uh, untouchable, unison, uh, 7 key and 400% attack and defense as well as foreseeing enemy super attacks. Just unrestricted for free. Strong. Unrestricted 40% damage reduction, uh, unrestricted health against all types. He still has that chance to steal a random uh, buff from targeted enemy. That's a 20% chance. So if the enemy like gets, I don't know, let's say uh, the enemy has uh, like a random buff. Uh, let me think, let me think. Let's say the boss like gets like damage reduction or gets like additional attack and defense when he takes hits. He just takes it from them. So that's 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 a little dope ability. Normal attacks are target all enemies. So just like from the uh, little pre-active skill. Attacks are guaranteed to hit and disable enemy action once within a turn when key is 24. 70% chance to dodge. And he also has a 70% chance to crit. And he gets an additional 10% chance to uh, dodge and crit for every attack evaded in the turn okay so he just has a 70 percent chance to dodge and crit and he gets an additional 10 percent chance to dodge and crit for every time he dodges within the same turn so just strong considering the fact that he has that 40 percent damage reduction to fall back on and when dodging key blast super attacks he counters with tremendous power okay so that's specifically for the key blast supers and he gets 50 percent attack and defense when dodging enemy attacks and he gets three key for keys to obtain, and he is a rainbow orb changer still, and he launches a guarantee super when evading an attack, okay, or as a second or third attacker in a turn, and he launches a guarantee super per rainbow keys to obtain up to three. So one second, guys. I was reading like I was like a, like I'm a car salesman. Okay, so what we have here, right? Um, let's see. Uh, 70% chance to dodge and crit and build up, uh, build up within the same turn. Strong. Uh, what, what, is, what else does he have? He foresees super attacks. 40% damage reduction. Um, let's see. Normal to tackle enemies. He has a bunch of miscellaneous abilities that are cool, but the main focus things, like, that he has that is, that is strong, 400% attack and defense. Foreseeing enemy super attacks. 40% damage reduction. A 70% chance to dodge and crit with effective against all types. What else does he have? Within the, um, he also has a build up. So he gets additional 10% chance to dodge and crit each time he dodges attacks in the same turn, which is obviously very strong. Um, and when he dodges, he gets a little... He, I'm just going to ignore that one because that's just a little miscellaneous ability. Um, three key per key to obtain is obviously strong. Rainbow orb changing from his little pre-active skill is obviously strong. Um, he also gets a guarantee super when he dodges in an attack, which is obviously very strong and easy to get off an easy ability and he gets three rainbow key spheres and that's three supers so he can get up to four plus supers from his passive so he can realistically do five plus supers yeah so silver very strong yeah he's not stacking anymore but it's still quite strong so is that all is there more there's one more yeah form change you go back to no that's it yeah, it goes back to gold base uh, cross Mega Man. Okay, so let's see. Our active skill, uh, Vanishing World Kai, temporarily gets 100% attack, causes ultimate damage to an enemy, gets 24 key. And wait, don't you get something for getting a 24 key? Or am I crazy? Yeah, he gets a little disable enemy action attacks guaranteed to hit. A lot of miscellaneous abilities, a lot of strong abilities inside both his uh, pre and post uh, active skill. His strong card all, all around, just, just a strong card, just strong, just very busted. Uh, let's see. So, ca cancels enemy buff effect that allows them to uh, disable defense reduction. Okay. And condition can be activated starting from the third turn from start of battle. So, you can just, you can go ahead and uh, stance change. Excuse me. You can go ahead and stance change or form change every three turns for free. So, you can either be inside the silver version. Is it silver? It is, yeah, silver. You can either be inside the silver version or inside the gold version. If you're asking me, the gold version stronger easily the gold version i would probably say the gold version easily shits on the uh the, the silver version because uh, let's just look at it like this if imagine if this like this is just let's let's not talk about it. let's not talk about it anyway so let's go back down uh what, what do we have here um 
yeah, when we go back into the gold version, recovers 20% HP, cancels on debuffs, obviously super strong. Can be activated starting from the turn after this character's entry turn. All right. So, and then these are the categories, superheroes, entrusted will, connected hope, movie heroes, few fighters, bond of parent and child, power absorption, legendary existence, powerful comeback, artificial life forms, saviors, battle of fate, rapid growth, bond of friendship, uh, crossover, gifted warriors, siblings bond, miraculous awakening, power of wishes, and all out struggles. He's on a ridiculous amount of categories. What's that? Let's count that out real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's on 20 categories. That's a very healthy amount of category teams. Just very generous to give him all those categories. And his link set is fierce battle, legendary power, shocking speed, all in the family. I get that. Uh, blazing battle. Berserker, Strength and Unity, and Unbreakable Bond. Unbreakable Bond, what would that be? And Strength and Unity is like that little Piccolo, little DKP link, right? Um, so, all in the family, uh, Shock and Speed, cool. Berserker, he's not going to get too much of a benefit out of that. As well as Blazing Battle. I remember Blazing Battle being a very bad link. Uh, Unbreakable Bond, what would this link be? Probably be... I don't know what that would be. Uh, Strength and Unity, I don't remember either, but his link set is pretty... Eh, but his card is very strong. Very, 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 very strong card. From his Silver his silver base cross form right that's what you call it or that's not what you call it right yeah his base cross form to his silver base cross form to his his gold base cross form very strong card i have no i have no complaints about this card his defensive stat is ridiculously high so nothing is killing this guy literally nothing almost nothing is killing this guy in game so yeah that's about it uh w card sent thank you for sending your card um stoic i remembered don't worry, I remember your name. So send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so you get to your custom card as soon as possible. Get all these recent custom cards out of the way. Whew, man, that was a lot to, to, to talk about. So uh yeah, that's gonna be about it. Uh leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Join the 24-7 Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. Peace.